Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you this little tool. So this is a wall tag, wall tag, and it will tell you how many bricks you need for a wall. So for example, this is a single brick wall. So you can see if I change the height, the number goes up. Okay. And if I change the, the, the length, okay, so, uh, rough uh, a rough number estimate number brick numbers okay so um let's let's do it so first i'm going to just uh close everything let's start so first um let's create a, a project and i'll just place a wall uh, i'll just place one brick wall sing, single brick and uh, maybe uh, also a brick veneer wall. Okay, so now let's go to create a new family. So it will be a tag. So go to annotation. And uh, there's no wall tag uh, template here. So we, we need to start from this generic tag. And then, so first delete this one. And then we can go family category and the parameters. And then change it to wall tag okay so click ok so now go create and click on this label so if you want to change the size of, or change the size of the text or change all the colors fonts you can do it here okay so once you're happy so click ok and then click uh wherever you like so i'll just click in the middle Okay, so now we um, we're going to use this area area of wall to do some calculate the brick numbers. Okay, so click on this add calculated parameter to label. So first name it. Uh, let's call it brick number, and then common number or good in the here formula we need to click on this so find this area okay so area so area is the side of the wall okay so the side the, the side area of the wall so click OK um, and then we need to use this area so uh, divide by the area of the brick so if I so let me just oh, sorry ignore this oh uh, actually we can we, oh, let's just do this uh so area is this the size of this okay area and we just need to calculate area of one brick so the size of this so if we go to here so let me just uh, okay so it will be the size of one brick is in australia is 86 millimeter so of course plus the the mortar times 240 okay and then we just do the calculate this so 86 times uh, 240 and this is a square millimeter so we need to oh sorry we need to do it in a meter so 0 0.24 times 0 0.086 equals okay so we have this so this is a square meter so control c go to vivid so we just need to divide by this number so if i click ok so actually i just noticed that if you if you go back to this formula and you will see it becomes 0 0.021 which is a different slight slightly bigger so um so what we can do is we can do this so Control V and delete these zeros, and then I'll just 
type, oh, not type, times um, one, one, two, three, four, four, five, five, zero. So this will give us the the crew the more accurate uh, number. So if you go back, you will see it stay stays uh, as this number. Okay, so this is exactly the same as this one. So click OK and then go also just let's check the parameter unit format. So I'll I'll leave it as the default. So I'll show you. Uh, we, we we will go back uh, to change it later, but I'll, I want to show you uh, the difference. Okay, so now we can load this into the project, and so as you can see, when you tag it, so this is so we need to get rid of that. that. Okay, so now we go back to the tag, select this label, edit, select this. Go to uh, go to units format, change this, uncheck this, change this to fixed, change the units to fixed, and change this. Oh, well, just leave it zero uh, decimal places, and I click OK, OK, load it back, overwrite, and that's it. So now you will see if I go to let's go to 3D view and uh if i tag okay so we need to lock the view so sorry lock the view <laughs> 3d okay so tg so that's that's it so if i change the height of the wall so you will see it all uh, i want to double check to make sure this tag is correct so i'm going to just create a, a very uh very small so 886, so for example, 86 uh, millimeter. So this is one brick high, okay? One brick, one brick height. So it, and also I want to make it 240, which is one brick, exactly one brick. So if I tag TG, so it, that's correct. So if I make it 240, it will it should be 10 brick, 10 bricks. And if I make this 860, uh, it will should be 100 brick. Okay, and yeah. So this is brick veneer wall. Or let me just uh, flip it. And it's just, it should be the same because that uh, it's also one uh, single layer. So if I if I have uh, let me just tag this one TG. So oops, TG. If this wall is uh, 1,744, if I change this to brick, uh, single brick, it should be the same. Uh, just need to be careful uh, because when you change this to double brick, the number won't change because we're using the area and um, the, the, the area of this face, this side won't change whatever. Uh, Whichever whichever wall type you use, they're always the same. Even you know, generic wall is still telling you if if that's a brick wall, how many brick you need. Yeah, for double brick, you probably you have the option to create another tag and then times two, or you can just uh, you just do it yourself. <laughs> you just you just do this. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.